One of the reasons it took me so long to review the Bose SoundSport free wireless earbuds is because I thought $250 was way too much to pay for a pair of sports wireless earbuds, given that there are so many options out there. And it looks like Bose finally caught on and they lowered their price. So let's check out the Bose SoundSport free and are they really better than AirPods? The Bose SoundSport Free were released in the summer of 2017 and they initially retailed for $250, but now they're going for the low, low price of $200. In a highly saturated market like the sports wireless earbud segment, these are on the pricier end of the scale. If you want to check these earbuds out, I'll have a link in the description below, and if you use the link, it really helps out the channel. Regarding what you get with the Bose SoundSport Free, you don't really get much. You get the charging case, which is very well put together, a micro USB cable for charging, and a total of three silicone ear tips. That's it. But first, I just want to say that I don't feel the Bose SoundSport Free, or other sports wireless earbuds for that matter, should be compared directly to the AirPods. Say what you will about their design, but the AirPods are tiny and meant to be used day in and day out. But they aren't the best for the gym because they aren't water resistant and they let a lot of ambient sound in compared to other sports wireless earbuds. On the other hand, sports wireless earbuds like the Bose SoundSport Free shouldn't be used outside of the gym. Have you seen guys trying to pull these off while walking around in the city wearing a suit? The Bose SoundSport Free are so big, they basically make them look like Frankenstein's monster walking around. Okay, now that I got that out of my system, let's get back to the matter at hand. Even though the Bose earbuds are very expensive, both the earbuds and the case have very good build quality. If you press the front button, then the 5 LEDs will light up and show you your current battery status. And if you press even harder, Harder, then the case will open up and the lid has a very well designed hinge. The case itself is able to supply the earbuds with 10 extra hours of battery life and the earbuds themselves are able to hold a 5 hour battery life. So the Bose SoundSport Free have an advertised battery life of 15 hours. I go to the gym 4 times a week for 2 hours and the Bose typically lasts me 6 full workouts. So almost every week and a half I charge them up, I mean they're decent. But the case isn't without its problems. First off, yeah, it's pretty big, but since I just throw it into my jet bag, it doesn't really matter. My main issue with the case is that the button is so hard to press. Since the case is so smooth and since I have to press really hard to open it up, I find myself frequently dropping the whole case on the gym floor. The front button is just complete mush. I feel Bose needs to go back and redesign this mechanism so it takes less effort to open and you get better tactile feedback. And I also feel Bose should have used a USB-C port instead of a micro USB port for charging. Okay, now let's talk about the earbuds. These things are huge. I found that each earbud weighs in at 9 grams with the medium ear tips. For comparison, each earbud on the Jaybird Run and Soul X Shock weighs in at 6 and 5 grams respectively. For the most part, runners say that the Bose earbuds have a tendency to wiggle out when they're out training. Obviously, I'm not a runner, but when I get on the treadmill and do my post-workout cardio, the Bose SoundSport Free do like to wiggle out. But when I'm weightlifting, the Bose SoundSport Free stays securely in place, except for when I touch down when I'm done doing pull-ups or dips. But when it comes to customization options, you don't really have too many options to choose from. You only have three ear fin sizes to choose from, and no matter which one of the three ear tips you choose from, the Bose SoundSport Free don't create a seal in your ear canal. They rest right outside of it. So they do let in a good amount of ambient sound in. Some people will like this for safety reasons and other people like myself just want to block everything out at the gym. But the sound quality on the Bose SoundSport Free is actually pretty good. The main thing they have going for them is clarity. There's almost no tinning and the lows get surprisingly deep. I actually think these sound better than the AirPods and Powerbeats 3, but they don't sound as good as the Pixel Buds. They don't get as loud as the Powerbeats 3, but they definitely get loud enough. Connection quality on the Bose SoundSport Free is also pretty good. Just keep in mind the right earbud is the master and the left earbud is the slave. So if you're going to talk to somebody on the phone, you're only going to hear them through the right earbud. And if Siri is going to talk to you, she's only going to talk to you through the right earbud as well. They have a range of about 30 feet and I haven't had any connection issues unlike the Jaybird Run. But they do suffer from a good amount of latency when watching YouTube videos. It's not as bad as the Jaybird Run, but I do expect Bose to do a little better. But when you decide to go with wireless earbuds, you also sacrifice the convenience and inline controller like the one on the Powerbeats 3 or Jaybird X3 offers. So with most wireless earbuds like the AirPods or Jaybird Run, you don't have full control over your music playback. So you either have to rely on your voice assistant or you have to whip out your phone more frequently. Bose decided to put a full set of buttons on their right earbuds, and this is great. Without having to take your phone out, you can adjust your volume, play or pause your music, skip a track, go back a track, and you can even activate 
activate your voice assistant. On paper, this sounds great, but unfortunately the buttons on the right earbud are so hard to press, I just naturally end up defaulting to using my phone again. Pressing the buttons on the right earbud is a workout in itself. Bose also included another button on the left earbud and pressing this will only tell you which device the buds are connected to, and I think this is a missed opportunity on Bose's part. Obviously Bose needs to make pressing either of these buttons much easier, but I also think Bose should make the left button on these earbuds activate Google Assistant just like the extra button on the Bose QC35 Series 2 does. This way the button on the left earbud is way more useful. The Bose Sounds for free also connects to the Bose Connect app and it doesn't really do much. You can update their firmware, adjust some settings, and control your music playback. But you can't adjust your EQ or anything like that. But they do have a Find My Buds feature. As long as you're in range, you can ping either of these buds so you can find them. Even if they're in their case, you can still ping them, which is a good feature to have. But other than that, the Bose Connect app doesn't really do much for these earbuds. Okay, and here's the microphone test for the Bose Sounds for free. And keep in mind, only the right earbud is actually picking up your voice. And I actually think it sounds pretty good. But this audio clip is being recorded by the microphone on the Bose Soundsport Free. So you can be the judge of that. So to wrap things up, the Bose Soundsport Free are good, but I would still shop around. I'm glad to see they're selling for $200 now, but I would like to see them come down to at least the $170 mark. Again, I wouldn't consider getting these over the AirPods for day-to-day -day use, but if you're a weightlifter at the gym, then these are okay. They have very good build quality, they sound very good, and their battery life is decent. But for the Bose Soundsport Free Series 2, Bose needs to shrink the buds down, fix the buttons on the earbuds, fix the buttons on the case and they should integrate Google Assistant. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It helps out more than you realize. For more product reviews and deal alerts, check out jimcaddy.net. If you want to support the channel, pick up a shirt and I'll catch you next time.